Welcome back. I'm here with Football League editor Pascal Lemaire to talk about Saturday lunchtime's championship match between QPR and Nottingham Forest. We'll start with the host, Pascal, coming into this off the back of three league wins in a row. Yeah, it's been really impressive from them since, you know, they started the season poorly, QPR, with that defeat at Charlton. But since then, it has been pretty good. They're up to fourth now, and last time out, I wasn't that surprised to see them win at Huddersfield, but they needed a late goal from Cherry to get it th- uh, to, to get the win there, and he's got three and two now. And some of the new signings are impressing, and they've brought in more players, you know, since on deadline day. Uh, Daniel Tozer and Gabriel Angela both played at Watford last season both integral players to Watford going up last season I'm very very impressed with those two signings I mentioned Sherry there they've got Luongo as well who's uh, made an assist in three straight games so they've got a lot of good uh, a lot of their new new signings playing really well and they managed to keep Charlie Austin that's the big thing him staying is absolutely huge for them whether he'll go in January or not but the fact that he's there he's already the top scorer in the league as well so it just shows that he hasn't had any problems going back to championship level and he's been so good for them you know the last couple of years and I'm so surprised they managed to keep him you know you would have thought a Premier League side would have paid you know I think it was about 15 million they were looking for him and you thought when you see say 22 million for Berahino you know he didn't score as many goals as Austin last year and I was very surprised they managed to keep Austin so it's a great bit of business from them and sitting fourth on the table and they do look primed for a promotion push. Forest, on the other hand, unable to keep their key player, and Antonio, he's left, and they've only won one league game all season. Yeah, the loss of Antonio is just it's massive for them. Losing him to West Ham is such such a blow, and because well, especially because they can't sign players because of the transfer embargo, so they didn't they weren't able to replace him. Now that he's gone, they're sitting sixteenth, and you think for them this season, you know, for the start of last season, under Stuart Pearce, they they started so well, they were leading the league after about ten games last year, and you thought could they be going up but I think this season it's all about just consolidating trying to sort of lift that embargo get the finances sorted and just stay in the league because they have struggled to sign new players they've brought in some players on loan uh, Chris O'Grady Mendes Oliveira they haven't signed Johnny Williams yet but they should be able to get him in and they are good loan signings for them but certainly I don't think any of those players Williams has has proven himself to be a good championship player at Ipswich on loan uh, in previous seasons but I'm not sure any of those players are really going to be able to push them towards promotion. I think, like I said, this season's all about just staying in the league and trying to get their finances sorted. I mean, last time out, uh, they lost at Cardiff, which, you know, I think Cardiff have had good starts to the season, but they're the sort of team in the forest. If they want to if they want to have any chance of going for a top-half finish, the sort of side they need to be, they couldn't do that. And, yeah, just one win this season, which was at home to Rotherham, who are bottom of the table and probably the worst team in the league. So it just shows you how much they have struggled this season. And, yeah, like I said, it's just all about consolidating this year. What's your score prediction for this weekend? Yeah, you have to back QPR, I think. Even though they've had the international break, uh, Forest to sort of try and sort themselves out. QPR, much better form. Like I said, they've signed even more uh, good players. So I think this one should be a home win, 2-0. So I suppose we're going for a 2-0 win for Queen's Park Rangers.